Well, it's time for your morning wake up call. So here's a look at your top headlines for Friday, September 24th. With some breaking news from overnight, around 60 people in South Arkansas waking up in shelters after they had to evacuate their homes. Happened because of a gas line that ruptured in Hampton, sending dangerous ammonia in the air. People from Hampton to Harrell have either been evacuated or asked to stay in their homes until the all clear is given. I'll bring you updates as we learn more today. Investigators in Collierville, Tennessee, searching for a motive after a gunman opened fire in a Kroger supermarket. At least one person was killed and about a dozen injured. Police say the suspect took his own life. Law enforcement sources tell CBS News they are looking into whether he may have been a disgruntled employee. The U.S. District Court of Wyoming has issued a federal arrest warrant for Brian Laundry. He's wanted for activities following the death of his fiance, Gabby Petito. The warrant alleges Laundrie used an unauthorized bank card around the time of Gabby's disappearance during a cross-country road trip. The laundry fell out of sight over a week ago. Unemployment claims continue to tick higher. According to the Labor Department, first-time filings totaled 351,000 last week. That was more than expected and an increase over the week prior. Weekly claims were at a pandemic-era low at the beginning of the month.